Welcome to CONCEF, Concept Science and Engineering Fair, where we value the roles that science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM, play in education. I am your host, Michelle Frigo, Assistant Director of Academics for Concept Schools Academic Department. Concept Schools is a nonprofit organization that provides academic, operational, and financial support services to a network of public charter schools across the Midwest, many of whom are represented here today. In addition to this award ceremony, students participated in five major aspects today. Design contest, themed on the science of disasters and the engineering of solutions. STEM Expo, demonstrations. Young scientists modeled a variety of STEM experiences. Science fair presentations. Young scientists presented their projects in the digital environment. Math Olympics, 153 students out of more than 2,000 total students qualified to compete at the Math Olympics. These students have shown their skills in number sense, algebra, geometry, and data analysis. And Robocon. Robocon has grown into two distinct events that allow students to show their computer science, problem solving, and design skills, Robocon Robotics and Robocon Codathon. We are extremely excited to bring such a diverse group of students together to celebrate science, engineering, mathematics, and technology. At Concept Schools, we are proud to provide students with opportunities to think critically, solve problems, and make connections with the real world. We congratulate the students and the teachers for their tenacity and hard work despite all of the challenges present, limited resources, and having to complete projects at home and on their own time. Thank you to all judges, volunteers, and especially the directors of Concept, Dintra Coach, the director of Math Olympics, Ihan Kaputlu, and the director of Robocon, Kimber Cote. We hope you will enjoy today's experiences. Today's first guest speaker is Vernice Flygirl Armour. She has two decades of experience leading teams. Flygirl serves on the Forbes School of Business and Technology Board of Advisors. She is a former member of the Comcast NBC Universal Joint Diversity Council, was a diversity officer liaison to the Pentagon, and is America's first African-American female combat pilot. She's also a regular contributor on CNN with two appearances on The Oprah Winfrey Show and a leading leadership keynote speaker. Flygirl has helped hundreds of organizations accomplish their strategic mission. She delivers her proven process of transitioning to success through innovation based on her battle-tested lessons learned. Her book, Zero to Breakthrough, was released in 2011. She is a fierce advocate for STEM and lives in the Atlanta metro area with her daughter, Noah. at a science and engineering fair, and I firmly believe that scientists and engineers rule of the world. Think about it. Everything you see look when you look around you has been created by a scientist or an engineer. From the house you live in, the car you drive, the computer you work on, the phone I'm recording on right now, it's absolutely crazy and amazing. Ever since the age of four years old, I wanted to create and have an impact in the world as well right? My name is Vernice Fly Girl Armor, and this is my story. I've been flying since I was six years old on commercial, but I've never seen anyone that looked like me. When I walk into the tent, it was a little dim inside. It took a second for my eyes to adjust. When I look towards the back, black woman in a flight suit. I said, what? It blew me away. It was what I call the tangibility of the possibility. Tangibility. That means I could touch her, talk to her, feel her, I mean, it was <clears throat> absolutely amazing. It planted a very strong seed. And because of that seed, I am here sharing the same breath with you. I became an officer and leader of Marines. When I graduated from flight school, I had become the Marine Corps' first black female pilot. Within 60 days of graduating from flight school, 9-11 happened. My life completely changed. Within months, I found myself flying over the desert floors of Iraq, protecting and serving the men and women in our military on the ground. Much to my surprise, I found out after deploying that I had become America's first black female combat pilot in any of the armed services, helicopters or jets. It was crazy, right? After a couple tours in Iraq, I got moved to headquarters Marine Corps where I became a diversity officer liaison to the Pentagon. And it was there that I got to go to the Tuskegee Airmen Conference. 
I got to go to Women in Aviation. I went to the Women of Color in STEM Awards and it was there that I got inspired to step out on my own and start my own company, VAI Consulting and Training, LLC, where I became a business owner as a professional speaker and an author, executive coach. You know, I, I work with women, helping them be, make gutsy, bold moves, I write books. I mean, I love my life. I am literally work, walking my purpose on the planet. And what I've discovered more than anything, because well, there are a lot of people that said, well, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? What I've discovered is everyone wants to create a breakthrough. Just a lot of people or many people don't know how, right? There's one thing I wanna share with you, actually two. First <clears throat> is when I was in the deserts of Iraq, before we could release our missiles, there was what we called a ground controller. They were on the ground and they could see everything, the targets, the aircraft, they would give us permission to engage. <clears throat> and they would actually say those exact words. You have permission to engage. Well, here at home, there are no ground controllers in life. You are your ground controller. If you don't give yourself permission, who will? right? You have, the emphasis is on have, you have permission to engage. Only you can give yourself that permission. And the second thing is the gutsy move. In your gut, you know it's right, it takes guts to do it, but you got to take action. If you don't take action, it wasn't a gutsy move. It was just a gutsy thought, right? And gutsy thoughts don't get us anywhere. Gutsy thoughts didn't bring you to the fair. Gutsy thoughts didn't get you to uh, take an interest in science and engineering. Gutsy actions are what created your results, right? And your gut, you know it's right. It takes guts to do it, but you got to take action. And that is how you create breakthroughs in your life. Taking gutsy moves, small, medium, large, every single day as, as you move towards your goals. And... Just you being at the science and engineering fair shows that you have the right stuff. Hopefully you're following that gut leadership instinct and you're gonna create the breakthrough. That you can literally do anything. I started it out at the beginning of my video. Scientists and engineers create the world. And just think about where you are right now and your imagination and all the things that are yet to be created that you and your peers, just look around, you and your peers will be creating for our world. You are our future leaders and I am so proud of you. I can't wait to see what you create. Make the breakthrough, take the gutsy moves. From 12 schools, 108 students showcased their science, math, and technology demonstrations. They have been working so hard to make this happen, and each student will receive a $40 gift card for their efforts.
year, Concept Schools organizes a design contest for Concept. Works from the top student artists are honored by being put on the Concept website and being displayed today. We received around 100 artwork entries from various schools. We chose 10 finalists and awarded them with gift cards. The two top winners this year received $250 checks. The winner in the senior division is Kennedy Short from Horizon Science Academy Lorraine. Congratulations, Kennedy. The junior winner is Dimas Inojosa from Horizon Science Academy Southwest Chicago. Congratulations, Dimas. Concept Project Session Awards. Students uploaded their papers and project presentations online to our digital platform again this year. Our group of volunteer judges scored them based upon shared expectations and rubrics. Individual students and the top schools will be recognized with an award. In addition to a certificate, students who receive honorable mention will also receive a medal. Bronze Award will receive a $30 gift card and a medal. Silver Award will receive a $40 gift card and a medal. Gold Award will receive a $50 gift card and a medal. The Best of Category Award is a $100 gift card and a trophy. Best Schools Award is a plaque. Concept Category Awards. Honorable Mention, Senior Division. Junior Division. Congratulations to all honorable mention winners. Bronze Medal Senior Division. Medal, Junior Division. Oh, 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 oh. 
Congratulations to all bronze medal winners. Silver medal, senior division.
awards to all silver medal winners. Gold medal, senior division. Junior Division. Congratulations to all gold medal winners. Best of category, Senior Division. Best of category, Behavioral Science, Senior Division. Best of category, Biochemistry, Senior Division. Best of category, Botany, Senior Division. Best of category, Earth and Space Sciences, Senior Division. Best of category, Electronics, Engineering, Senior Division. Best of category, Environmental Science, Senior Division. Best of Category Health, Senior Division. Best of Category Physics, Senior Division. Best of Category Zoology, Senior Division. Best of Category Junior Division. Best of Category Biochemistry, Junior Division. Best of Category Botany, Junior Division. Best of Category Chemistry, Junior Division. Best of Category Computer Science, Junior Division. Best of Category Earth and Space Sciences, Junior Division. Best of Category Electronics, Engineering, Junior Division. Best of Category Environmental Science, Junior Division. Best of Category Health, Junior Division. Best of Category Material Science, Junior Division. Best of Category Mathematics, Junior Division. Best of Category Physics, Junior Division. Best of Category Zoology, Junior Division. Best of Category Behavioral Science, Junior Division. Congratulations to all Best of Category winners. Best Schools, Senior Division. Senior Division, third place. Senior Division, second place. Senior Division, first place. Best Schools, Junior Division. Junior Division, third place. Junior Division, second place. Junior Division, first place. Congratulations to all best schools at the Concept Project Session. Our second guest speaker, Jesse Steftenagel, 
is a biologist who works between the worlds of environmental science and marine biology. Her focus has always been to connect the dots between business and science, people and the planet. She worked as a marine biologist with NOAA for 10 years and as an environmental lead with the National Ocean Service. Her focus was on bottlenose dolphins, health and behavior through migratory pattern research using radio and satellite tracking technology. Jessie has also carried out wildlife research for documentary films and scientific publications. Today, she works as an environmental strategist with DIRTT, and she consults on numerous projects, including the Whale Shark Research Project in Mexico and the Rare Aquatic Species of Indonesia Project in Borneo. She has a bachelor's degree in marine science from the University of South Carolina and a master's degree in environmental science from Illinois Institute of Technology. Hello, everyone. First, I want to thank and congratulate all of you who are in attendance today. Each and every one of you is working to find creative solutions to problems that need solving. And in my opinion, there aren't enough high school students out there today on a weekend in April working in the world of science, technology, engineering, and math. I knew I wanted to be a scientist when I was eight years old. It was the first time my family took me out of Chicago down to the beach in Florida to see the ocean. When we arrived, they bought some cheap little snorkel mask sets at a local store, and we headed over to the beach to explore the underwater world. I grew up swimming, so I wasn't scared of the water. But the ocean was a bit intimidating, and I wasn't sure about this whole underwater snorkel mask thing. In the end, though, I was absolutely captivated. It was like nothing I'd ever seen before. The waves rushing over my head, fish darting in and out of the coral reef, marine plants swaying in the ocean current. It was a tiny little reef, but it was just enough to keep me in the water for hours that day and for many days that followed. It was all I could talk about. I distinctly remember asking my parents what kinds of jobs people had that worked underwater. I wanted to know, what were those fish that we'd seen? What were their names? How long did they live? Did they have families? Did they live in Florida? Did they move around? I wanted to know why the water was blue. I wanted to know what made waves. Basically, I was obsessed and probably a bit annoying. But I remember asking again, how could I study the ocean and learn everything there was to know about it? And at the time, they said, well, that would probably be an oceanographer, somebody like the great Jacques Cousteau. And from that day, now that I knew what to call it, I told everyone who would listen, I'm going to be an oceanographer. At eight years old from Illinois, with an ocean nowhere in sight, you can imagine people probably laughing at me. I doubt many took me seriously. Some were downright dismissive. Um, I had a lot of adults say, that's great, but there's no ocean anywhere near here. Being a scientist is tough. There's a lot of competition. Things like that, and that went on for years. Each time I bowed to work for a response for the next time that someone questioned my plan for what kind of job I was going to have when I grew up. And I'd say, the only thing I want to do is to be a marine biologist. I learned more about the profession and I landed on marine biologist. This made the most sense to me because I was pretty confident I wanted to study marine mammals and fish. I'd also started looking at colleges and universities that had the best marine biology programs and I was focused on doing well in school to get there. But there were other roadblocks and a few naysayers along the way, even in high school, one that really affected me. My high school's chemistry teacher said something to me that I'll never forget. I loved chemistry, but it wasn't always easy for me. I'd struggled through a particularly hard test and ended up getting a B. I remember being back at my desk, looking at the test and the questions that I'd gotten wrong, when my chemistry teacher walked over and loud enough for the whole class to hear, said, aren't you the one that wants to be a marine biologist? And then he laughed and said, you'll never be a marine biologist if you get bees on your tests. And he walked away. And I was devastated. I knew in my heart that he was wrong, but he was the first person that had ever said that I might not be capable of being what I wanted to be. And that was 30 years ago, but I remember it like yesterday. I was also starting to notice there weren't a lot of female marine biologists. And I wasn't surrounded by friends who wanted to be scientists. I really didn't know anyone who'd become one. So some doubt had crept in. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that I never thought I should change my career path. But I stood strong and I held on to my dream. 
I ended up choosing to go to the University of South Carolina to study marine science. This is the first time I was going to be surrounded by other people who really thought science was cool and who wanted to solve the mysteries of the underwater world. There were also a lot of girls who wanted to be scientists, so I was encouraged and I was on my way. Getting a marine biology degree wasn't easy for me. The courses were really tough. I was surrounded by people who were seemingly smarter than I was. But, but you know what? That was actually the best part. Being surrounded by people who are intelligent and maybe even smarter than you made me work harder. It made me work to be the best that I could be. And I ended up tagging and tracking bottlenose dolphins to find out just that. Looking at their migratory patterns, essentially where they live and how far they travel. I'm so excited thinking about all the possibilities that now exist today for you in the world of science, technology, engineering, and math. Today, more than ever before, the world needs you and your creative ideas to help solve problems that exist today and others that may not have even arrived yet, but are certainly on their way. I hope you keep working away on your projects and you find ways to believe in yourself and your abilities, even on the days when it feels like nobody else does. If an eight-year-old girl from Illinois can stick with her dream to become a marine biologist, all of you can accomplish your dreams too, and I know you will. Thank you. 2022 Math Olympics Awards. Students competed in grade-specific virtual Math Olympics challenges on April 15th. Top achievers will be recognized by grade level to receive a gold, silver, or bronze medal and a gift card. Honorable mention winners will receive a medal and a $20 gift card. Third place winners will receive a bronze medal and a $50 gift card. Second place winners will receive a silver medal and a $75 gift card. First place winners will receive a gold medal and a $100 gift card. Concept Math Olympics 2022 Awards. Honorable Mention Winners. 12th Grade Honorable Mention. Eleventh grade honorable mention. Tenth grade honorable mention. Ninth grade honorable mention. Eighth grade honorable mention. Seventh grade honorable mention. Sixth grade honorable mention. Fifth grade honorable mention. Fourth 
fourth grade honorable mention. Congratulations to all honorable mention winners. Bronze medal winners. Fourth grade bronze medal. Fifth grade bronze medal. Sixth grade bronze medal. Seventh grade bronze medal. Eighth grade bronze medal. Ninth grade bronze medal. Tenth grade bronze medal. Eleventh grade bronze medal. 12th grade bronze medal. Congratulations to all bronze medal winners. Silver medal winners. 4th grade silver medal. 5th grade silver medal. 6th grade silver medal. 7th grade silver medal. 8th grade silver medal. 9th grade silver medal. 10th grade silver medal. 11th grade silver medal. 12th grade silver medal. Congratulations to all silver medal winners. Gold medal winners. 4th grade gold medal. 5th grade gold medal. 6th grade gold medal. 7th grade gold medal. 8th grade gold medal. 9th grade gold medal. 10th grade gold medal, 11th grade gold medal, 12th grade gold medal. Congratulations to all gold medal winners. Congratulations to all of our Math Olympics competitors. Concept Math Olympics Best School Awards. Elementary Division Best Schools. Elementary Division Third Place. Elementary Division Second Place. Elementary Division first place. Congratulations to all elementary school students. Middle School Division best schools. Middle School Division third place. Middle School Division second place. Middle School Division first place. Congratulations to all middle school students. High School Division best schools. High School Division third place. High School Division 2nd place. High School Division 1st place. Congratulations to all high school students. Robocon Awards. The mission of Robocon is to increase public awareness of STEM. We believe that every student has the potential to shine in science, technology, math, and engineering. Therefore, we encourage students to share their experiences, talents, and abilities with others through this unique platform. In an effort, to make the Robocon experience as accessible as possible for as many students as possible, Robocon has grown into two distinct events, Robocon Robotics and Robocon Codathon. Robocon Robotics is our flagship robotics competition, featuring line following and stacking challenges for students in grades four through 12. This year's robotics competition was a live remote event with students competing at their host schools via Zoom. Robocon Codathon is a computer science design challenge available to students in grades K through 12 throughout the United States. In this entirely virtual event, students work to develop a computer science solution to a real world issue in just two weeks. This year's challenge had students working on computer science solutions to problems surrounding two of the United Nations Sustainable Developmental Goals. UN Sustainable Development Goal 10, reduce inequality within and among countries and the UN Sustainable Development Goal 12, ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. Robotics, Junior Division Line Following. First place. Senior Division Line Following. First place. Second place. Senior Division Stacking. First place. Codathon, Junior Division, 1st place, 
second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place. Senior division, first place, second place, third place, fourth place, Top School, Junior Division. First place, second place, third place. Top School, Senior Division. First place, second place, third place. Congratulations to all of the Codathon winners. Thank you all for watching, participating, volunteering, and judging. We appreciate your attention in helping us celebrate our students and their achievements.